What's up guys, Eli here. Back for a film review, we're gonna be talking about Deep Star 6. So Deep Star 6 came out in 1989, uh, directed by Sean S. Cunningham, uh, mostly known in the horror world for directing the original Friday the 13th. After Deep Star 6, he would uh, step down from directing for like a fairly long time, but he would do a little producing kind of, uh, in, you know, in the meantime. This movie made just barely more than its uh, $8 million budget, and I'm, I'm assuming that's probably likely why Sean S. Cunningham didn't uh, direct anything for like 13 years. Keeping with the Friday the 13th theme, uh, we have Harry Manfredini uh, composing the score, and the legend himself, Kane Hodder, as a stunt coordinator. So the U.S. Navy's building a base on the ocean floor uh, in a part of the ocean that is, uh, seems to be rarely explored, if, if ever. They used like an explosive charge to collapse this, this giant cavern that was kind of in their way, uh, which ended up cracking the seafloor. So they decided to send a probe uh, down to investigate, which ends up losing contact. And so two members of the crew go out to retrieve the probe and that vessel also loses contact. So back at the base, uh, things are showing up on the radar that are super large, pretty fast moving, uh, you know, and the tension really starts to build here. They don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it's uh, 90 to 100 meters long and uh, seem to have come from like under the ocean floor. I've said it before, but the ocean fucking terrifies me. Uh, so does space, and the, and the ocean is very similar to space, it, to me at least. It isn't nearly as far away or as vast, but it is hostile, alien, and largely unexplored. The idea that our own planet has all these places that we still can't get to has just always blown my mind. In my opinion, Deep Star 6 is one of the many sci-fi horror movies very much inspired by Alien, especially after the success that it saw. Sure, it isn't in space and there are no aliens in this movie, uh, but it still has its comparisons. Uh, just check out the breakfast scene after the, you know, the credits are done rolling. You have all your characters here, including Marines, that all have their own in individual personalities, uh, which is something I think is sorely lacking in, you know, a lot of modern films. Oh, and going back to the credits, I really like how this starts. Um, all the cool, you know, beautiful underwater shots. Uh, I think they look really, really nice. I'd say that Sean S. Cunningham did a, a really good job here. I mean, I'm no filmmaker. And the acting, you know, kind of varies by character, but everyone does a pretty good job here. And I really like the characters. Uh, nobody really gives me any lazy, I don't want to be here type vibes. Pretty solid. And so you don't see the monster until well into the third act. Uh, but that didn't really bother me. I mean, there was enough of a buildup, and it just it held my attention. Overall, there isn't anything real special about this movie or unique or anything like that, but it, it's an entertaining and an engaging enough of a watch. I'm going to give Deep Star 6 a 5.5 out of 10. Uh, I could recommend it to, you know, fans of the older monster movies and fans of, like, adventure-type movies because I think there's as much of all that as there is horror here. Anyways, what do you guys think? Have you seen Deep Star 6? Uh, if so, what do you think? If not, do you plan on checking it out? I'd recommend it. it. It was a fun watch. So, anyways, talk to me about it, guys. We'll talk soon. Cheers.